PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. You see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it. URL. Yes, URL. Thank you. We're getting gnome. Gnome. Night of main events. June 8th. What city? I think it's TBA to be announced at some time. I spoke to some people behind the scenes. Um, I think I know what cities or target cities they, they're targeting for this battle. And it's good to see that this battle is going to be on a neutral site. Um, not in New York City. Not in the West Coast. And, and, and let me just say this. Shout out to Lux. Shout out to Mook, right? But I've, one thing I've also, uh, always, also, always, pardon me, gave Rex respect on the fact that he took his talents and always was on the road compared to those two brothers, right? And I said to say this, man. It's good to see Lux back outside, bro. Because we, we have not seen Lux since the Geechee battle. And for the most part, the large percentage of the culture did have Geechee Gotti beating all the Lux. I did also. Um, he's been on a, a hiatus for, for a hot minute, right? So for him to go battle the alien, and we've seen the Twitter spaces where Lux is going kind of crazy. I think this battle is going to be a very dope battle. You got Beloved versus the alien. I'm hoping we get Lux and Hollow vibes with this one. This is what I'm hoping for, right? Another thing on the flip side is this. For the most part, Gnome has always been on a big stage. And I felt like... Because the, there were so many discussions about where this battle should be placed at. Should it be placed in a small room or big room, right? And I feel like the advantage in a big room was going to be the nitty. And some people feel like it's the advantage also for nitty to small room. Either or, right? Um, not saying Lux can't get busy in a big room, right? But the hollow battle, the clips battle. Well, the clips battle's on a big stage. Hollow on a small rooms kind of setting and everything like that. The Arsenal joint, the Geechee was on a big stage. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Lux comes for this battle, right? Obviously, you know, once again, RIP to his family member that passed away and everything like that. But this battle also is a generational gap in, in, in a sense to me where I feel like a lot of the old heads are going to be picking Loaded Lux, and some of the new generation is going to be riding with Rum Nitty. That's the vibes I get from when I see people talking about this battle, right? And I think this battle also is going to be very, 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 very much preference-based. Who are you like in this battle, right? <sighs> Does Grey Hoodie make an appearance? Do you guys subscribe to the Grey Hoodie theory? I know when Lux, when Sue Surf... Where the white tea, white tea suit and gray hoodie lux and things of that nature and stuff. There's, there's, there's no reason why Lux and Nitty should not be one of those. I do not want to put the C word next to that. Even though I feel we should that that kind of pressure of the C word should be attached to names like Loaded Lux and Rum Nitty. Right? This is gonna be a lyrical warfare, bro. I don't understand how it's gonna be real hard. To decipher everything Nitty and Lux says in the building. And when you're doing the recap, first watch recaps. It's gonna be hard. The way these brothers rap, rewind, find, more to find, this is gonna, man. I will be very disappointed if Lux and Nitty's not one of those, man. I'll be so disappointed. Cause it's supposed to be one of those ones, man. I don't know. It's, Last night, Uncle Raw asked me last night, right, who I had winning this battle. And I said, I don't know. And I really don't know who's going to win this battle between Lux and Nitty. I don't know. Like, your Lux now, you can't, you, know, you can't afford to lose the Geechee Gotti that run many back-to-back -back losses. And I don't know if, if memory serves me right. Has Lux ever suffered back-to-back -back losses? I don't think so. Well, the general consensus for you lost back-to-back. Now, who did he battle with for Arsenal? I thought he lost all. Was it Clips? So he might have an argument there. I, I think it might have been Clips. I think he did battle Clips and Arsenal. I forgot the dates on there. Part of me. I should have fact checked that part itself. But it's very interesting to see who people got winning this battle. Because if y'all got 
Lux, explain to me why. I don't know who I have. I really don't know. Now, if I had to edge somebody going to this battle, because you can't say Nitty's lyrical is more lyrical than Lux, and you can't say Lux is more lyrical than Nitty. Mm. Would this battle give you twerk and moot vibes? I don't want to say passing of the torch, but I felt like I felt like twerk won that battle against Mook, right? And if, if, if Nitty's able to do that, if Nitty's able to beat a person like Lordy Lux, man, that is very big for Nitty. All the alien talk and all the accolades his brother has, champion of the year a couple of years ago, and to and to beat to beat Lux just like your brother Geechee Gotti did, that's very big, bro. And on the flip side, for Lux to be nitty, it's gonna stop a lot of conversations, man. It's gonna stop is Lux beating a guy like Nitty, who, who's hailed as one of those guys in this era of battle rap. And for Lux to get a W against a guy like Nitty, that's going to mean something because for the most part, nobody wanna see Lux in Mook Part 5. Nobody wanna see that. I don't wanna see Lux battle old head dudes. Even my, you know what I'm saying? Mook, Nitty's not a young guy, but I don't wanna see battle dudes that's in your era though, Lux. Nah, man, I want to see battle the, the, the young lions that are outside now. And then you know what Lux, what comes with Lux, man, is the nostalgia purposes, right? The, the brother is so nostalgic when it comes to battle rap that some people hold on to that nostalgia. The thing about nostalgia, man, it never goes anywhere. Nostalgia doesn't go anywhere. It's here forever, to be honest, right? Now, nostalgia doesn't make you win a battle. Let me make sure I say that. Nostalgia does not make you win a battle. No, it does not. But, man. I've been thinking about this even when the battle announced. Because seeing a big room, man, I'm... Ah. I don't literally been sitting down for a while. What's Nitty's last battle? What's the kiss thing? What's, it? What's Nitty's last battle? And Nitty been sitting down for a while, though, son. And I like the fact Nitty been sitting down for a while. Let it be the beloved one. I don't want to see Nitty T battle Lux, and I'm glad that because I feel Nitty got chastised a little bit for other battles he took. Like when he battled Safflair Soul and other battles, people were like, why you battle on these guys? Kids lay their focus should be. Because that's the thing that happened with JC, right? Like, to be honest, it was supposed to be JC and Lux before Nitty and Lux got spoken about. But I felt Lux. So like, yo, JC, you battling all these nondescript dudes respectfully. You dig know what I'm saying? So, no, man. We got no main event, Loaded Lux and Rum Nitty, man. This going to be one of those ones. It has to be, man. It has to be. I feel like I'm edging Nitty, man. But I don't want to take that away from Lux, bruh. God, man. You know what? I'm going, I'm jumping out. I'm going, I'm going. It's not jumping out the window. I'm going to edge Nitty 2-1, bruh. Edging Nitty. Edge. Now, would it shock me if Loaded Lux wins this battle? No, it would not shock me. And I feel some people... Is, is Lux the underdog in this battle? And it, it depends who you ask, though, right? I think it depends who you ask. You know? But these brothers going to be rapping, bro. Like, they going to be rapping. Like, fam... You blogging on this battle, you write down the bars these brothers are gonna be saying to each other, you know it's gonna hit, it's gonna connect, man. Just let them rap. And that's the thing, I, I kinda want this in a small room where you just where they can rap. And it's not gonna be a lot of oohs and ahs, they gotta bring the bars back, and then And then Lux, you gotta be honest. Sometimes you stumble. I don't wanna use the word C H O C H O K E, but you know. I don't know, bro. Whew. And I wonder who else is going to be on this card. Hey, you all right. Let me say this right quick. Go ahead and throw some 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 mid tiers and low tiers in it. I think you should sprinkle other people on it. This card doesn't have to be. I think because we see Gnome. And let's be honest. It ain't like URL been sticking to the script with Gnome and Summer Madness. supposed to be only your big dogs. We've seen guys get on Gnome and Summer Madness. Then one year, Mr. Wavy got on Summer Madness when he battled John John. And we're looking like, fam, how did Wavy... Make summer madness. Well, some summer madness five or something like that. Eh. No, you are wrong. So now I'm, I, I, I don't have a problem with Eunice being on Gnome. Depends who he battles. But I think you should sprinkle names in there. The Eunices of the world. Throwing a Swervo. Even if even if you have a, a Av on his card or or other dudes, right? A Geechee them on his card. You want to sprinkle. And let's be honest. If the money's running running them, not 
the money's not there, they're gonna force to sprinkle other things in this in, the, in this card. It's not gonna be like, oh, this is Lux, Nitty, Twerk versus, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Who do y'all got winning this battle between Lux and Nitty, bro? That's my that's my question, man. Who do y'all have winning this battle, bro? You know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. Leave comments at the bottom, man. It's your boy, three. One.